making a smoothie here well about to I had to wash some dishes 24 I had to get up I couldn't get back to sleep the dog was still at it and here I'm in a minute he's back to his back in every you know three or four times a minute instead of a couple you gotta go out again you can it's cold out though Ooh, you crazy it looks nice out with the sun, but it's not. It's windy. See the wind blowing the trees right there. And it's, uh, I think, 17 out today. Not much better than that. I know that. Oh, 20. 20. What's that? Good girl. Cold out there, huh? Brr, brr, it's cold out there. Oh, it's cold out there. I forgot. I got into it. Hmm. How are we gonna make a smoothie now? Oh, I do have another one there. Oh, we got the bag over here. Okay, I need a lemon. Pumpkin seeds, a couple of pumpkin seeds, rinsed. I mean, uh, soaked and rinsed. So they sprout, release the enzymes. That's it. And I'll have an arrow peppers. I'm out. So it'll be that stuff. And then five frozen bananas. pounds of berry, mixed berries in there so the rest of these will go in and a chunk of my aloe vera plant hey what are you doing a cat toy up there huh what are you doing this you know better no no that's a kitty's toy you know better than that I know you're good girl Tay has been eating this on me too. Yeah. That's not quite enough. I tried tearing it with one hand. I usually just hold the plant and tear off a piece, but I'm gonna get this one. But this one will be too much, but I'll just cut it in half and save the other half. So I'll use half of this. And you know, I'll cut this here, the shoes up to there, and then that. And that's it in this movie. Oh, and of course, my ground cinnamon. I always have to have ground cinnamon 
And you know what? Since I don't have my habanero peppers, I will heat it up with some cayenne pepper. About a, about a, about a half a tablespoon probably, or maybe a little more. And you know, I got a 64 ounce blender, so sounds like a lot, but it's not, because I put a tablespoon of this in too. And half avocado. And then that's going to be it in this one. I forgot to get kiwis. And but I didn't, weren't even going to film this. I just wanted to. I only have the camera on so you can hear the dog barking. Plus, if I want to get out of my lease, I'm going to use this. I've been, I'll tape them and, you know, say, hey, I can't listen to these dogs all day long back like that. It ain't for me. I, I feel bad for the dog. It's, you know, the dog's stressing his back and like that. Okay, what I do with a watermelon, I just cut it like a checkerboard. See if I can hold the camera here and do it. Hmm? Let me just Drop my camera. When you get to the end, you just kind of squeeze with a couple fingers and just roll it. Try to keep the your fingers together, and then you get everything right out of it. That's pretty much good. You can cut this off. Sometimes I do this. Almost 10 after 4. We're getting there. I got my oranges in there, my aloe, lemon lime, watermelon. Ground cinnamon, cayenne pepper for heat, not for taste. So, just wanna. I probably should do it. I usually put habanero peppers in. I usually put three, three in that. In the dog still. I gotta stand here at my sink, okay. You see both my cars. That one right there, and that one right there. Pretty cool, huh? It's my problem, I get dancing when I get the music on instead of the TV. seeds been soaking for since yesterday morning give them a shake got a screen oh good rinse do it again oh yeah right in they go 
And here's an important step. Get your fresh water, a quarter cup of seeds in there now for, for your next smoothie. The next thing you know, you'll be willing to make a smoothie and you won't have your seeds soaked. You can't use them on salt. If you want to know why, just look it up. Or check my past videos. Not really. Okay, we'll put it out. About the rest of the bag in here. Maybe about three quarters of a cup. Actually, it depends on how many smoothies you're going to make a day, too. It's actually as much as you can afford. Because the more you eat, the better. I mean, they're not bad for you, they're good for you. It's just expensive. I paid $9 for three pounds, so that ain't bad. Blueberries. Now for the banana. I just put them in a regular sandwich baggie. I never had trouble on get, getting them on done. I take five bananas that are perfectly ripe, all brown. You can see how brown they are when I put them away. That's, these are nice and ripe. Oh, you talk about good, especially frozen. It's like ice cream. I, I eat them just like that. I'll eat a whole, I'll sit here and slice a whole pile of five right up and eat them right here just like that. No problem. You want to pick. You want to talk about a nice... <laughs> wow. <laughs> if you're a fan of like Chunky Monkey ice cream, Ben & Jerry's, which is my favorite, you love what I'm eating right now. Let's right here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if you can hear the dog on here. I hope so. So he's on taping, really. Nobody's gonna watch this. Hear it? Keeps on going and going. It's like the Energizer money. Unreal. I'm gonna shut up and learn from anybody. Learn. What I'm missing though is my coconut. We had to get a coconut, and I looked at them. There's people in front of them, so I walked by. So I got to put the rest of the banana in. Oh, and an avocado. I forgot my avocado. Now I put a half avocado in. Actually, if you saw my other video where I showed buying all the bananas and wrapping them all up, that's what these are from. You see how brown they were. Actually, I might not even upload that video to YouTube yet. Who knows? I ain't got time for this stuff. But anyway, there it is. But I'm going to put both, the whole avocado in just to make it even extra creamy. Well, actually. Actually, I'm only going to put half of this in because I'm going to eat the other half.
and it would be perfectly fine for me. You know, not right now, but I mean like in the next hour. But I can't afford it. You know? That's the only reason I don't, because I can't afford it. The bananas over here, I gotta buy ahead of time so they ripen. Can't find ripe bananas anywhere. Sometimes you gotta buy them, sometimes you get them for free. I gotta buy these. Well, I'm gonna sit down, relax, have a puff, drink some smoothie, watch some Dr. Morse. I got a couple of his videos to catch up on. He banged them on for a while and I couldn't keep up. He's the only one I gotta catch up on.